Hey, great afternoon, Relevant Empowerment Church family. Excited about a week of prayer, fast, and consecration as we prepare for our Ignite Revival. Uh, today, I want to share with you what the Lord spoke to me, and I, I need you to be very attentive over the next 50 to 60 seconds. Uh, I was being reflective on what God has been doing at Relevant. I've been reflective about how people have been being healed and how great testimony has been coming forth about how jobs have been being manifested, promotions have been coming forth. And in the middle of me being reflective and thanking God, God stopped me and he said, tell your people, don't forget me. And I said, God, what do you mean don't forget you? He said, in the middle of all of the celebrating, in the midst of me blessing them, tell them they cannot afford to forget about me. And I said, God, what do you mean forget you? He said, they cannot get in the middle of where they are and stop blessing me. They cannot get in the middle of where they are and begin to complain. They cannot get in the middle of where they are and, mum and murmur. And they cannot get in the middle of where they are and forsake me. I said, well, God, uh, I'll tell them. He says, no, you need to tell them and to tell them that even as I have moved by faith and by favor in this season, he says, my wrath will be seen. My wrath will be seen specifically for those who take for granted the power of my hand. Those who take for granted the power that I am causing to fall on the house of God. He says, so now you tell them, and I'm telling y'all, that we can't in this season get laxed. We can't find other things to do. We can't, we can't be so consumed with our own personal lives that we forget God. Now you take it how you want to take it. I, you know, folks mad with one need to buy them right now because she's telling the truth. And she's telling saved folk, sanctified folk, that they need to dress better. And I'm just telling you. We got to make sure that we don't forget God, that we don't get too caught up in ourselves, that we don't realize who is indeed the author and the finisher of our faith. Blessings on you. See you tomorrow night for prayer.